Yo, what's up gamers? I am still here, still alive, still uploading on YouTube, and still playing Planet Zoo. I've actually been playing a lot of Planet Zoo recently, I just haven't really had anything to show for it, because what I've been working on has been very time consuming. But, I have something to show for you all today. It's sort of just a one-off, almost a joke build. This is a recreation of the Seven Canyons Golf Club Resort. Whatever it is, I don't know, I don't play golf. But more than that, it also is a, a dual golf course and peccary habitat. I'll explain the context behind that all in a second. But let's just jump right into the video. So, peccary we just got as our new anniversary animal. It looks awesome. It's fantastic. But now, when this animal was announced, for some reason I was seeing a bunch of people posting about peccaries and golf courses. And I was really, really confused about this. I was like, what is the connection? There has to be some sort of context or inside joke or, or something behind it. So, I just did a Google search. I just typed in peccary golf. And what I found was, I think... It's this year that this happened. I don't remember for sure exactly. But earlier, at some point, there was this golf course. The Seven Canyons Golf Course. It's a real place. It's in, like, Arizona or something. Super gorgeous. I would love to go there, even though I don't play golf. But earlier, they were having this uh, a little bit of a problem with peccaries invading the golf course and just absolutely destroying it. As you probably know, pigs are very destructive and they'll eat just about anything. And peccaries are no exception, even though they're not technically quite the same as pigs. They're close enough related, though. And they live very similar lifestyles. But yeah, these peccaries were just jumping into this golf course and just eating everything. And so I was like, oh, that, I guess that's the context here, I think. I don't know. I still could be wrong. Maybe there's some other... Uh, inside joke going on amongst the uh, Planet Zoo slash former Zoo Tycoon 2 community that I don't know about. No idea. But that's why I decided to build this. It's basically just a joke. This, this whole build is just a joke. And I ended up putting way, way, way too much effort. As you can see here, I'm starting to do some custom curving. But why this custom curving is so extra super complicated is that I'm building this whole thing on a slope because that's just kind of how this particular part of the project looks it's all on a slope and so I have to take these multiple pieces that I use to make a custom curb and slant them and angle them each one individually all the way up and down this whole thing and this is what I always do with zoo projects or any project is I I have a plan and I'm like oh this will be easy I can just knock this out real quick and then I just take way too much time on the little details and it takes so much longer than it's supposed to I've been working on this like how long pretty much since the anniversary happened so uh yeah I'm still working on it it's not done as of this video being uploaded and I'm gonna continue working on it but I just wanted to upload something because I'm pretty sure Planet Zoo, Frontier are about to at least announce the live stream where they're going to talk about the new update upcoming and the new DLC. They're going to hint at that like they do every single time they have a new update in DLC. Pretty sure that's going to happen. They'll probably announce the live stream is going to happen next week, but they're going to announce that tomorrow. Anyways, I want to get this out now before all the hype around the peccaries disappears and we start talking about the new DLC, whatever that's going to be. Who knows? We'll find out. But I'm excited for that. Anyways, all of that aside, what I wanted to do with this video originally was I wanted to talk about how useful Google Maps was in building in Planet Zoo because there's a lot of things that you can do in Google Maps and there's a lot of things that you can see just by going to the, the street view. That was my original plan, but uh, a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago, I, I already kind of got beat to it. A, a fellow Planet Zoo creator, Pacha Kamak, 
he makes great videos great content but he basically uploaded the same video and it's a lot more in depth and a lot better than what i was gonna upload so i'm just gonna put a card for his video and you can go check that one out i'm just gonna show you a little bit of the practical application of how to use google maps when you're building a planet zoo because there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it for example if you need inspiration in planet zoo pretty much every large american zoo and several like european i don't know about asian or like australian zoos i haven't checked every zoo in existence obviously but most of these zoos have been uploaded to google street view so you can just basically plop down virtually into any large zoo and just take a virtual tour of the zoo and that's really a great way for inspiration because you'll see a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to see just in pictures on google image search or even in like videos that people upload to youtube on zoo tours you'll see a lot of really cool stuff and more than that you'll be able to get like a view of the whole layout of the zoo for this build that i'm doing right here in particular if you google search seven canyons golf club whatever and you take a look at all the images it's basically just going to be images of the golf course which is great but just building the golf courses wasn't really what i had in mind even though looking back maybe i should have done that because i probably would be done by now if all i was making was golf courses but no i had to build buildings i've never really been good at building buildings in this game because mostly just because i haven't actually practiced which is on me i guess but this build has been really helpful in that aspect I, I've actually been pushing myself to build buildings and interiors, which, you know, it's not part of the fun of this game. The game is all about building habitats for animals and stuff. And then, you know, buildings are like an afterthought. But to become a great planet zoo builder, then buildings are kind of, kind of important. Anyway, I'm wrapping up these uh, front entrance area now. So if we hop right into Google Maps for a second, we can see on the street view, this is what the entrance area looks like from, well, <laughs> I shouldn't say from the ground, from real life. This is what it actually looks like. Even though you can see here, there's a transition. I think these images are older than the first one, which is interesting. I guess they updated up to a certain point. But the, the Google street view only goes up to the fence there. It doesn't go any farther than that. So I had to do a lot of filling in the gaps after this point, but you get the idea. This is what it looks like in the real life. And, and this is what it looks like in game. It's similar, not a one-to-one -one recreation, but close enough. Uh, real quick, I want to shout out that font you see right there. That font was created by Cavalier Lady. It's from the workshop. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, excellent choice in dogs, Cavalier Lady. I also have a Cavalier. They're a lot of fun. Anyways, yeah, so it's like pretty close to what you see in the Google Street View. It's not perfect, obviously, but I didn't need it to be. I just wanted to show a little bit of the application of how you can use Google Street View. And it worked really well for this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh, and I also forgot to mention there is a golf cart there. That golf cart is also, uh, that also from the workshop. Uh, it's made by Dahlquist02. Uh, so shout out to Dahlquist. I did modify it a little bit because it's... it's bleh. I can't talk right now. It's only 1047. It's not that late. Come on now. Uh, I modified it a little bit because it said zoo on the front. And obviously this is not a zoo. This is a golf course an actual golf course um but anyway i actually start working on the golf course here and i guess i only have some of the footage i was looking through my files and i actually barely have any of the footage of this here basically all i did was i just used the the green path the grass path texture and i just put that everywhere because the desert grass path 
or not the desert terrain paint <laughs> my brain is struggling right now the desert terrain paint for grass is very like brown and not very nice looking and I wanted this golf course to be rather nice looking except for the part that the peccaries are coming in and ruining but yeah so I had to use the path tool for this which we all know how wonderful the path tool in planet zoo is and it, we never have any problems with it even with rebuild installed you know it that's just like just in case you know obviously the pathing tool is perfect but you know just because why not you might as well use free build because it's the greatest mod ever anyway here i start working on i guess the main building i don't know exactly what to call it i don't even know what building this is exactly i just know that there is a building on the map and there are some people that have uploaded just like it, i'm not exactly sure what the difference is what you call it there there are things on the street view where you can like where someone took a camera and went down a road with it and then you can like walk down the road the images i had of this particular building were just like pictures that a person had taken from one spot so you can't walk around from that spot if you get what i'm saying hopefully you do because i barely get what i'm saying half the time regardless there were only a couple images of this building and so i did my best to recreate it as best i can even though i don't even know what the building technically is in real life what it's supposed to be i used it as a restaurant slash toilet building i i guess this is, might also be where you check in to go play golf no idea really i was just making a building just because for funsies because i can and you can't stop me this building was the point of no return for me. I always get to a point of no return with these builds where I'm like, okay, this is gonna be quick and easy, right? And then I'm going in just building and building and building. And then I realize, no, this is not going to be quick and easy. I'm making this way more complicated than it should be. There really was no reason for me to put this much time and effort in a one-off joke build but i did just because i'm i'm going insane i am losing my mind i'm becoming an absolute psychopath i just i play this game so much and when i'm not playing this game i want to play this game and my biggest problem is that i don't have infinite amounts of time to play this game because i have so many ideas of things that i want to make but I don't have anywhere near enough time to actually make it all. If anyone figures out how to do cloning tech, I would like to get in touch with you because I, if I could just clone myself and have multiple versions of myself, then we could all work on every project that we have in mind. But as I'm saying this, I realize this is probably a terrible idea because we're all going to start having our own ideas multiple of our own ideas each individual clone and then each individual clone is going to have to make more clones to make all the ideas that all the clones are thinking of and then there's just going to be so many more clones so this is a horrible idea i am just a mad scientist at this point but whatever must be done in the name of science must be done and i need to make these things in planet zoo <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Just completely lost it. I'm, I'm gone. Uh, but uh, don't worry. The Planet Zoo content should be coming back a little more regularly than it has been. Just like the things that I have been working on have been, you know, a lot more uh, time consuming. Like this chair you see here. I was trying to make like a wicker chair. I think that's the correct correct word where it's like woven together like little sticks i don't know the only type of item that we have in the game that kind of fits that bill is the conservation lampshades which 
just don't work to build a custom chair. But yeah, I built a custom chair because why not? You know, I'm just messing around with a, a little a little prank build for piggies. So might as well, you know, just go all out <laughs> because I can. Anyway, uh, don't worry, Matahau will be coming back very shortly. Uh, I just needed to get this out of my system first because I was I was working a lot on that project and then it's sometimes you just need to like take a break and do something else for a little bit and this is more than just a little something but what whatever it is what it is but yeah the new DLC will be coming out soon and I'm probably not gonna be able to make that much stuff involving that because I'm sure it's probably not going to have Oceanian animals um, which if it doesn't then I can't use them in Matahau and I don't even know if I'm gonna do stuff with Afruika I don't I don't know what my plans are for that project so we'll see we'll see once I have more time but I don't have time right now I'm actually going to be going out of town pretty soon, so that'll just limit my time even more, which will be lovely. Anyway, I spent all this time working on this custom door that I repeated across the entire building because the building has a lot of doors, for whatever reason. But uh, after I finish this door, I don't have a ton of footage of what I made after that, which... I oops I guess I don't know um, but this isn't even the last video that you'll see on this build um, I'll make another one later on down the line once it's finished once it's finished we'll do like a full tour and you'll be able to see everything more clearly but uh, yeah the interior of this building is what has been the most detailed because I wanted to make it like accurate ish very much accurate ish to real life um, and I s spent a lot of time detailing the restaurant area and the booths and everything and it looks really good uh, I also used y you don't see it here I guess I don't have the footage I used some of uh, PS Vision Gaming's restaurant blueprints for the interior of the kitchen area and those look really good. PS Vision Gaming is elite. He is goaded when it comes to creating this stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen his work, I would highly... I don't think he has a YouTube channel. But I think... Who was it? Was it Leaf? I think Leaf did like a small tour of what he had. Maybe it wasn't Leaf. Was it Eben? Was it... Uh, was it Poison Blade? I don't, I don't even know at this point. I am subscribed to a ridiculous amount of Planet Zoo YouTubers because I have a crippling addiction to all things Planet Zoo and I cannot get enough. So if you have a Planet Zoo YouTube channel, if you, you upload, please do tell me in the comments and you will most likely be getting a subscribe a new a, a new subscriber. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but that's what I tried to say. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll subscribe to you if you want more subs. Anyway, I think I've babbled on enough about pretty much nothing for the past 20 minutes. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you the couple images I found on Google Street View of this building, both from the exterior and interior. So this is the view from the outside. As you can see, this is just an absolutely gorgeous place. I'd love to go hang out here, even though I don't play golf. I just walk around and look at everything because it looks nice. And over here, we have a view of the interior, which the layout is not really that close. I mean, it's like kind of similar to what I did. The bar is oriented a different direction in my build than it is there. And then I have a whole booth seating area. So kind of similar, kind of not that similar. But I just kind of went for vibes on the interior. This here is what the outside of my build looks like. I 
did I get more angles? If I didn't get more angles than this, I'm stupid. But you get the picture. It's like vaguely similar to what is in the the real life. The real life, that's good words. And here I have the interior of the build, which... Did I not even get that good views of this either? I don't know. You see the restaurants eating. I'm, I'm tired at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. You you see, it looks nice, right? Please, please boost my ego. I need it. I am depressed. <laughs> Anyways, that really is about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Thanks for bearing with me for 20 minutes. I hope you like what you see in this video. If you do, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe. I promise this time I'm not gonna go a whole month without uploading. You will see here, one of the two, you see here for me at the same time. It's a video, it's audio visual format. Ah, I gotcha. See slash hear from me again sooner than a month. I, what I have in the works for next couple videos should be done with reasonable schedule but uh, anyways yeah that's about all for now thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one peace out